Welcome back everyone, this is Victor Campos and we're continuing our HTML5 project. Now last time uh, I showed you that our goal is going to be this continuing education mobile website. So then we used Kodika to rapid prototype. We had Kodika write the code for us, we just dragged and dropped the pieces that we wanted. After we designed the interface, uh, we're going to fill in all of the content details. But first we need to select download from the top right, top right button. And what that does is it downloads a zip file, which we need to extract. I put mine on the desktop. And now on the desktop I've got the actual mobile website project. If I open that up, inside we've got index, a JavaScript file, a CSS file. And this is what we're going to edit to get closer to our uh, final result. So you need to open your index inside of this mobile website folder. You need to open it with Notepad++. If you're using Windows, you can right-click, edit with Notepad++. If you're on the Mac, you can use Text Wrangler, as you've been doing before. And if you're running Linux, you know what you're doing. So you want to edit with Notepad++. That brings up our our, our uh, Notepad++ editor, and remember we need to run, launch the web browser to see the result. And usually you want to resize your web browser so that it fits a little bit more, and then it looks a bit more like an actual uh, an actual uh, sized screen. So any web browser will do. I've loaded it up here. It comes straight from uh, the Kodika website. Now we need to do a few things. Based on our example, we need a home, art, computers button, we need a copyright in the footer, we need some text at the header, we need some text in the center. So let's set ourselves up there. Uh, header, that's not what we wanted to say. So we will go to line, line 30, and where it says header, we'll change that to San Diego Continuing Ed. On line 37, you'll see a button called Button, which we wanted to say Home. Line 43, you'll see a uh, button called uh, Button, which we want that to be Art. The next button, line 47, will be called Computers. So I'm going to save. Go back to the web browser. And now we've got uh, new text. For the moment, don't worry that perhaps your text at the top is cut off. We'll fix that later. Let's add a copyright at the footer. So looking at our structure, we'll find that the footer exists down here on line 129. So we can, sel we can start typing copyright 2014. And if we want to create the copyright symbol, We'll type the ampersand copy semicolon. So copyright semi copyright and then ampersand copy semicolon. There's my result. My example shows some sort of text which you don't have to quite worry about just yet. Uh, that's an H1, and then some paragraph text. We'll go ahead and add that. Then a picture, and then a button. That fills up the first page. So we've got a heading. We need some text. There's our picture, and then a button. So back to our code. We've seen that we've got a div of data role page on line 27 so it's our it's our whole first screen next line line 28 that's where our header starts and our header ends on 52 
notice that when you click on a an HTML element, uh, Notepad++ will highlight its corresponding pair. Then we've got a div of content, line 53, which encompasses the main content area. H2 for the heading. Line 57 includes the picture, but before the picture I want some plain text. So we'll add a brand new line 57. We'll add a P tag, a P pair, which are just plain old paragraphs. And I'll just fill this in with some gibberish text for the moment. Now to get our button to look like the example, it currently says button, it has the icon, but it doesn't really look like our example yet. Here's the trick. The button exists on line 63. It shows that it's an A tag wrapped around a text of button. I'll change on line 64, we'll call it information. That's our information button. And it becomes a button because we've got a data role of button. The link we'll fill in later. There's our icon, data-icon info, our info button. And then we've got data icon position left. The icon appears at the left. Well, here's the trick. Change your data icon pause, data icon position, on line 63 to say no text and uh, do not write a space there. No text, one word. Save and refresh. And now our button has changed to only show the icon. And a cool thing also is if you roll over, put your mouse on it, whatever you typed um, on that spot will display uh, on this pop-up. So this kind of uh, follows more my example. And then next we need to concern ourselves with the art page, computers page, etc. So on our next video, we'll look at creating pages and uh, filling in those pages with more content.